Hey guys, uh, I'm making a video today for uh, drummers who want to start drumming. Basically, if you're interested and want to take it up, uh, a few tips and guides and ideas for you if you want to start. Uh, this is a great book and it's called uh, Progressive Steps to Syncopation for the Modern Drummer. Uh, a lot of people use this book when they first start out. It's basically a book filled with uh, snare drum solos and teaches you stickings for the solos. It'll tell you when to play your right hand, your left hand, you know, etc., when to accent. But basically, that's how it works. Uh, I don't use this very much anymore because I'm not, I don't like to read music as much as just play it. Uh, but it's very important. It's a very important aspect to playing. Uh, it also develops your your ability to use different stickings to make the make drumming sound cooler, smoother, you know, more together. Um, so to start off, let's see. Uh, most people when they're drumming, they learn uh, the basic rock groove. It's really the first groove I think most drummers learn. It's this, you know. Now, mind the snare drum, this camera's terrible, if people who've watched my other stuff have already know, but this snare drum sounds really great in real life, it sounds like crap on the camera, I know. Uh, I'm trying to play it quietly. Uh, but if you, so here's, here's what this basic groove is really doing. Your right hand is playing chord notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you want to count with your playing, that's very helpful. In fact, I recommend doing it. I also recommend, if you're having trouble, doing it with some sort of beat keeper, a metronome. So you can go like, so the metronome can play next to you and you can try and match what it's doing. And eventually, your hand will just start to do it. So you can change the speed too, but when you're trying to play a rock groove, you usually keep the whole thing at the same speed. to Keep the tempo the same. Uh, and then, you're, then it gets more complicated because you have to learn how to put your bass drum, which is where your foot is, and your snare drum here, and change it. So on this groove, uh, the bass drum plays on one and three. One, three. One, three. One, three. Um, and the snare drum plays on two and four if, if you're hearing that. One, two, three, four. So that is the basic rock route. Uh, so you can just, you, you should, if you're starting out and this is what your first thing you're learning, you really should just play that straight through for a long time, just really get a feel for what it actually feels like to have all the syncopation going around and your body is just getting used to it. Now, you can build off that basic groove. You can, you can change a lot of it, in fact. So, instead of just playing one bass drum, you can play two. You can do the same thing with a snare drum. You can play snare drums, you can play two snare drums, you can play them in different places. So when when you learn the basic groove, you're building off of that basic groove. That always the basic groove though. So if you're ever having trouble, remember that groove. You always build off of it. Then you can do. playing a groove, and it's usually rock, this happens for all types of music, like jazz, rock, blues, whatever, there's usually fills, and fills are usually places where the song is going to change its texture. So, usually, 
when you hear like let's say a rock song, you know, you hear the first part, then you hear the drummer do something like <laughs> Right there is a transition. What the drummer's job is doing is telling the audience and the musicians around him when the song is changing. So the it, the song sounds like it's a story. It's like building up to the next piece. The drummer helps conduct that. So that's why fills are really important, and you can really get creative with fills as long as you remember this. When when that beat is in your head. You're using that standard groove to play your fills. So those fills are always going to be on beat, in beat. But you can also get off beat, which is pretty uh, complicated stuff. But if you're going to stay on beat, try a fill like this. So, you know, that might help you uh, with your playing by keeping that standard beat in your head and doing simple fills at first and moving on to more advanced ones. So start off with just a few hits and when you're changing one, two, three. Very easy. You can get you can learn this in a few weeks if you try hard you can learn this quickly. That's really the first part of this video. I'm going to stop it so it doesn't run out of time. But uh, I will continue a second part uh, in a few minutes.